All right, it's time to play series story. I do hope I don't mess it up. She's grown up a lot, hasn't she? We haven't seen her since uh, since she was young. Yeah, she seems to have some kind of dagger and just the one sword, which is kind of strange. She's only got one sword. Is there any point in gather gathering herbs? Because we're not really playing as her. I don't know. There's a lot of herbs around. I'm just going to assume there's some point to having herbs around. We don't have a mount. Go. <laughs> she needs help. Okay. Oh, she can move. I <laughs> like this. <laughs> she can move. You can come down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Hmm. Yes, though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite, not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. Hmm. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. Then I saw a butterfly. And I ran to catch it. And I lost my way. Hmm. You and your father. When did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come, I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. Who? Who's that? I wonder who this Wolf King is. Hmm. No kings among wolves. These have one. <laughs> and you've seen him? Yes. I mean, he so like a werewolf from behind something. a tree. He was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustingly horrific. Terribly, <laughs> disgustingly horrific. Okay. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. Is it like a hybrid <sighs> sword or something? Some silver silver stainless steel thing or something i don't know or maybe it's maybe it's a magic sword so Ooh. even more Wolves. I know it's worth mm. picking up all this thing. Something with immense claws. Yes, something with immense claws. Look, they 
something there. Ew, lovely. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But no buts, stay here. I must see something. I must see the gore. <laughs> Extreme close up. Is he still alive? Some monsters tear him apart by looks of things. Hmm. Hmm. Bloodshot, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Mm -hmm. ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Mm. Something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Hmm, something to. Ew! Stay there <laughs> and look away. Hmm, what's this? The marrow's Ma in missing. Let's see what happened to his Let's belly. See. Liver's gone. Oh, his liver's gone. Ugh. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tied? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. Yep. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. <laughs> when did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver, but I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No, a far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. Mm. Gather fool's parsley. So we were supposed to gather herbs. I knew it. Okay, mistletoe. We need fool's parsley. We need more parsley. What's that? Mistletoe doesn't grow on the ground, does it? I've never heard of it growing on the ground. I guess we go the direction it's pointing. It probably steers in the right direction, I guess. Yeah, it's more mistletoe. Walks backwards, I'm not sure you are. Just in time to get bit, eh? Come on. Come on. That's a bit cheap having you being bit as soon as you materialize. These ones are a bit, a bit more tough. Come on. Yeah, definitely doing the. Uh... They're gone. You can come out. You cut them up bad. 
This king will be angry. Yeah, if you use uh, oh, there's the full spice. All right, I have everything. Now for a spot where I can build a fire, and brew the oil in peace. What you doing? Greasing my blade. There. We'll see just how effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. Hmm. But yeah, oh, she regains health fast. Wow. That's pretty amazing. But yeah, the uh, the strong strikes are pretty crap uh, with this character. I noticed. Because when you do the strong strikes, you just get attacked while you're trying to do them. Anyway, she she's fine. I mean, she can handle that. But yeah, when you're when you got a bunch of wolves, it's kind of funny. You can just like do go right up to them. Do send their children out to follow the swings? Well, all in blood, clawed open. No wolves did this. I just hate it when stuff interrupts the dialogue. Oh well. Let's find this werewolf and defeat him. This king of wolves. <laughs> this way, through the cave. You lead. It's a bit dark. Afraid. Just a bit. Are you? No. <clears throat> this is gonna have friends. Hey, what? The Wolf King, now do you believe me? I do. Hide. It's time to die, Wolf King. Okay, don't strike him. What the hell happened there? Damn it. I'm supposed to go behind him. Hit him a couple of times. Ooh. Quick strikes. Nice, <laughs> he doesn't have much health. I thought he'd be tougher than that. Okay. Dropping. Never seen anything like it. Girl, you can come out now. Come on. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. I've, I've not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Mm. And would that lord be the bloody baron? To wait and see. But yeah, yeah. If she, if you use quick strikes, she's a lot easier. Takes a lot less damage. But with strong strikes, she's open to being hit all the time. Nom nom nom. Damn, she's hungry. Yep, that's the bloody Baron. <laughs> Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. Sit 
So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. i would not eaten in... Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Great care in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. Hmm. Another time, eh? Oh, I guess that uh, brings our time with Siri to an end, although I'm sure we're going to get other opportunities to uh, play that character, I guess. That's pretty fun. Uh, took a lot of getting used to all that, moving around and stuff. She moves a bit too far, actually. If she moved just a little bit less, she could easily like, get behind people. Uh, let's see. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Fair enough. <laughs> Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family, but then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. Hmm. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. Hmm. There's a note. Nilfgaardian demands. Let's check out these Nilfgaardian demands. They sound intriguing. Nilfgaardian demands. Philip Stringer. Your supply problem do not... Oh, do not interest us. Okay, your supply problems do not interest you. The pact we signed was clear, and the Emperor of Nilfgaard demands that you fulfill its terms. If you do not, our mutual obligations will be rendered null and void, and your privileges will be revoked. Mm, so he's working with the Nilfgaardians, I guess? As any smart and shrewd man would in these times. Series room, eh? Hmm. Nothing else? No, I guess not. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side you of the like wall? One. Look like you got <laughs> shot last night, too. You see it there? <laughs> What's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. D damn it! Jammed again. Mm. Our bedchamber. Tamara's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Wooden candlestick. Stem's broken. Nice big rooms, this, huh? Let's check out the, uh... The wall? <laughs> Wall's a different color. Something mm. used to hang here. A map, hmm. perhaps? 
That painting, right size. Painting or a map or something. What's in the chest? Ooh, look at this. Gold ring pearls. Candelabra. Nice. The Baron and his wife. <laughs> look happy enough. What's behind the painting? What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. Let's check it out. Hmm, it gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm, fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. What else could we find out? Mm, nice. Nice place they got here. Books everywhere. There's no, uh, we can't read the books though. And we can't examine that, but we can ex examine these scratches here. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Mmm. Heavy object. Huh. Rest of the candlestick. And wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle. From Toussaint. Yeah. Erveloose. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Ooh, we have a scent trail. Excellent. If we're done in here. Think there's any other clues? I uh, think we've missed anything. Let's follow the scent trail. Plowing hangover. Oh, it leads downstairs. Okay. Not too far, thankfully. Leads to this floorboard. Damn. Here. Trail breaks off. Could find something else, though. Talisman. Mm -hmm. mm, spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. I guess we talked to him about what we found. Um, Don't poking around. Hmm. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coop lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Hmm. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing. Not a one of them. Hmm. Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads must be. Lushes, one and all. Give your men hair valuse. Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. What does it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Hmm. I'll have a chat with this peller. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. 
Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. <laughs> I'm not really interested in his hobbies. I just want to ask about the amulet. That was his goat, eh? Like you got soused last night too. Oh, that was a funny one. Alright, okay, well I'm gonna leave it off there, guys. It's a bit of a short episode, I know, but... Uh, we're on to our next part of the quest now. We've done our part with Siri. And, uh, yeah. It's been very interesting. Let's just check out this other room, Could if we can. Hair the hound. Got any Let's see if we can find anything in here worth it down. More gold rings and such. Incense. And an old key. wonder what it unlocks. I wonder as well. Anis. Sandalwood. And something else. Saffron. Ooh, a letter to Tamara. Let's check it out. Just gonna read through these uh, clues real quick. That's not the letter. Letter to Tamara, where is it? I have so many letters. There we are. Let's see. We are more like family. We support each other and help each other survive tough moments. Grapple with this. Grapple with the past. For each of us has a past. So you needn't worry about anyone digging into yours. We've got a rule. Never ask more than someone offers on their own. The past doesn't matter to us, only the future does. That and our common fight against evil and depravity. Against the perverse and loathsome practices of all kinds. That that made very little sense there, so it threw me off a bit. <laughs> it's very odd. Hey. There's scent markings here as well. But that goes outside. Just make sure we're done looking around here. Candy, eh? Is that like a literal box of candy? Hmm. Damn ugly for a doll. The kind you'd stick with pins to hurt someone. So a voodoo doll. What would they be doing with a voodoo doll? Some kind of... Nasty doll. Oh, that revealed more than I was expecting, so... I'm willing to follow this just a little bit further, see if we can... I know what's going on with this. Let's find out where this scent is coming from. There. Well, bring out the gimp. I think the gimp's sleeping. Well, I guess you'll just have to go wake him up now, won't you? <laughs> nice line there from Pulp Fiction. Ooh, what's in here? There's a fella there. Let's keep following the scent trail. Oh, it leads in here. A room full of loot. Excellent. What's this? I'm going to unholy altar. An altar. So, the eternal fires made it to Velen. Mm -hmm. An altar. So, the eternal fires made it to Velen. We have a prayer as well. Eternal fire which lighteth our hearts and give us, uh, giveth us light. Heat us with thy warmth, dry our tears, burn our foes, embrace our friends in thy care. Give my mother health, punish my father, help me fulfill my destiny. So, 
basically uh, that tells us that they didn't th didn't think very highly of their father so I'm thinking that's the Baron I ah, had a lovely crash there that was nice <laughs> I don't know why this game still has a few crashes here and there. Hopefully they iron that out. I want to loot that. How do we loot that? The bag's like stuck behind all the rest. Damn it. So I think we gleaned all we can glean from here guys. Um, it's in here. Even more loot. Apparently we can take all this. Um, the save brought me back to an earlier place so I, I looted all this. It's funny since at the beginning of the game it warns you like people might not take kindly to you looting but now they don't seem to give a monkeys. So I will take everything um, because nobody cares. So yeah that was interesting. But yeah so we got a few clues there. We got the voodoo doll, we got the shrine. The altar, we got the uh, the obvious um, comments about not liking their father and stuff like that. So, chances are they ran away after a fight with the Baron, perhaps. Perhaps the Baron had a fight with his wife and the wife took the kid and ran away is what I'm thinking has happened. But there's obviously something more to this, like someone helped them get away. Uh, someone perhaps poisoned them against the Baron. And maybe the Baron was just drunk and I don't know. It depends. Maybe they're, you know, the Baron and whoever's helped these women to escape well, are both equally to blame. Bring out the gimp. Think the gimp's sleeping. Well, I guess you'll just have to go wake him up now, won't you? Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. Your pale as outy shy. <laughs> what you want, mate? I presume the gimp's in here or something. There's a door here I can't open. There's nobody in there though, but I can't get through. It's locked. And there's no there's no real clue for a key, so it's a damn shame, I tell you. I wanna see the game. <laughs> anyway guys, ooh, we missed a bag. Hey, bit of rope. Always oh, coming handy. Gonna leave it off here guys, till next time. Yeah.